We've seen how hubs and authorities can help us find good pages on the web through a kind of indirect endorsement, not what we expected at the outset, but basically something where there are these good lists and they in turn find where the good authorities are. And this is a kind of endorsement that actually we see all over the web because very often the authorities you're looking for, companies or other things that are in competition with each other, they're not gonna link directly to each other. The way to find all of them at once is to find these third parties who somehow manage to know where all of them are, the hubs. That's the notion of indirect endorsement. But of course, direct endorsement, where experts just directly endorse other experts and authorities directly endorse other authorities, that's something we see on the web also, right? We certainly see it in anything related to academia, we see it in blogs, we see it in lots of different types of pages. And so it, in the same way that we developed a rule using the network structure to find indirect endorsement, we'd also like to find direct endorsement. And so what we're going to talk about now is a way of defining scores based on an update rule that's based on direct endorsement. And this is going to be the page rank measure, which forms the core of the Google ranking algorithm. Now, to think about page rank, we're actually going to think about it sort of metaphorically as it as it moves around the network, the score as a kind of as a kind of fluid that flows across the links. Okay, we're going to think of each page is having a certain supply of page rank. It's going to pass that page rank to other things across the links. That's how it endorses. It passes its page rank outward across the outgoing links. And the places where the fluid accumulates, the places that get lots of page rank, are going to be the high quality pages. Okay, let's, let's see how this works on an example. So again, we've scaled down the example, not something at the size of the actual web where these algorithms would really be working, but something we can do by hand. Take this set of eight web pages. Okay, so we're gonna look at this set of eight web pages, and we'd like to somehow think about which ones are the important ones, which ones are getting lots of endorsement. And you, you see here that there's lots of direct endorsement going on here, right? You can follow links all around and get back to where you started. In particular, in the language of directed graphs, it's a strongly connected graph. Every node can reach every other node, right? That wasn't true in our examples that had indirect endorsement, for example. Okay, now, which of these pages do we think ought to seem the most important? Well, no, you know, page A looks pretty good. It gets all these incoming links. It, it seems kind of important. Um, and if we believe page A is important, then it should follow that, you know, B, C, and D that get direct endorsement from it are also important. Maybe C might even be a little more important than B and D because they also endorse it. And if that's true, then if I look at the periphery down to E, F, G, and H, well, they each get only one endorsement. But if we think C has a slight edge over B and D, it's a slightly stronger authority or expert. Maybe G and H are a little better than E and F. We should think about all these issues and see how they actually uh, end up working. But we'd like a method that sort of respects that kind of intuition that we have. And PageRank re respects those sort of intuitions. Here's how it works. We start by giving everybody an equal amount of PageRank. Okay, so there's going to be one unit of fluid in the whole network. And there are eight nodes here. We're going to divide it into eight shares. Okay, so one-eighth on each one. Now what's going to happen is we're going to apply the basic page rank update rule. And the way that's going to work is that each page takes its supply of page rank and simultaneously it divides it into equal shares across its outgoing links and it hands that page rank to the things it points to. Okay? They meanwhile have lost their page rank because they've handed it off to other pages, but they're gonna receive page rank on their incoming links. So for example, let's start with nodes B and D, right? A divides its one eighth of a unit of page rank into three equal shares each 1 24th, and hands it to each of the three pages it points to, B, C, and D. Now, those are the only links coming into B and D, so they're going to just get 1 24th as their page rank. C is a little more tricky, right, because C has three links coming in. So it gets the 1 24th from A, and it's also going to get page rank from B and D. Now, remember, they're all doing it simultaneously. So B and D each also had 1 8th of a unit of page rank. Take B. It splits its 1 8th into two pieces, and those two pieces are each 1 16th. And so the 1 16th goes to C. D also gives 1 16th to C. And so what have we got coming into C in this first round? We've got 1 24th from A, 1 16th from B, and 1 16th from D. So 1 24th plus 1 16th plus 1 16th, if you add it up, is actually 4 24ths or 1 6th. So C in the next round is going to end up with 1 6th as its page rank. And we just keep doing this. Actually, the other ones are much easier. B splits its page rank into two. It gives 1 16th to E, and that's all E gets. Uh, all F gets is 1 16th over the other side. And similarly, C, remember in this starting out, C had 1 8th. It's 
it's going to end up with 1 6, but right now it has 1 8. It splits it in half, and so G and H each get 1 16th also. And finally, let's not forget about A. Those four links circulate back to A, and it gets a huge amount of page rank because each of E, F, G, and H only have one outgoing link, so they put all of their 1 8th of a unit of page rank on that link. It goes to A, so A gets 4 8 or 1 half. And that's one round of the basic page rank update rule. Okay, and we could run it again. I'm not going to show that here, but we're going to, we would see that we just apply the rule again and page rank continues to flow and we're just watching where it accumulates. Okay, that's, that's the process in, in a nutshell, right? Let's write down what we did. So each node is going to have a page rank value, right? So each page P will have a page rank value that we'll call PR for page rank. And we're going to start, if there are n pages in the whole network, we're going to start with each page rank value equal to 1 over n. And then simultaneously, we're going to apply the basic page rank update rule. Each node divides its current page rank into equal shares, pushes it across the outbound links, and it arrives at the nodes at the other end of those links. They accumulate the page rank they get. Those are the new page rank values. Okay. Now, just as with hubs and authorities, we want to use the principle of repeated improvement. This page rank update rule has given us a better estimate of where the endorsement is flowing, where are the good pages. Once we have a good estimate of where the experts are, the direct endorsement says we should have their links count for more. And so by repeated improvement, we're going to then apply the update rule again using these new page rank values, see what happens, and keep doing this. Now, page rank remains constant, right? There's a single unit of fluid in the whole graph. Page rank is neither created nor destroyed. It's just sort of circulating around. And so if we keep applying this update rule, where is it going to end up? Where is the page rank going to finally show up? Or we'll just keep kind of circling around and not settle down to anything. That's a question that we really need to understand if we want to sort of appreciate what is this rule actually doing and how is it finding experts. And that's the question we're going to think about next.